Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back to Twiz Gamers. It's your boy did it did it DJ Lordsy inside the place. Now right here we've got some gameplay of the Black Ops 4 multiplayer mode and it looks really really good. I've had so much time to ingest everything, break down the trailers, look at gameplay and honestly guys I am incredibly excited about the future of Call of Duty. Treyarch have never let us down and I'm super excited to get my hands on this and play it for you guys. So we got some new information about Black Black Ops 4 and I know the reveal was only yesterday but information's coming left right and center they threw so much of it at one time that every youtuber ever's mind just blew like we, we didn't know where to start making videos but I think I've, I've digested it a lot now but we've got a load of topics to talk about today and the first thing we're going to be talking about is new information on the specialist edition of Black Ops 4. Now there's not too much information but we get an idea in a sense of what it's going to be. So of course you can see the game covers for Xbox and PS4 on the left. We have the 5 inch statue just next to that and we're not quite sure what the statue is at this time but I'll I'll give you more information on that when it comes out. We've got the custom steel case, of course, and that's the bonus physical content, as well as digital content, which is the 1,100 uh, Call of Duty points with in-game, and plus bonus digital items, which probably be weapon skins and character skins. Hopefully, they've added a lot more cosmetics in this game. And seeing what they did with Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a load of cosmetics. Now, the next bit of news that we have is that in a game of multiplayer, you will only be able to have one specialist per team. So you can't have two uh, outbreaks or... Uh, two ruins you can only have one specialist per team and I think that could be Interesting nonetheless as we were able to do this in black ops 3 But we're gonna have to wait and see how it plays out of course Which is the most used phrase at every single black ops 4 video at the moment But we, we are literally gonna have to wait and see don't forget guys This is all we've literally been sprung with this information but, I mean, it could target some of the spammers. Uh, in Black Ops 3, a load of people played as the Outbreak. And literally, they had flamethrowers left, right, and center in Nuketown. And it drove me crazy. So, at this point, we just have to really trust that Black Ops 4 and Treyarch know exactly what they're doing with this. So, we don't get spammed with crazy stuff in the maps. And I just think, once again, we're going to have to wait and see. Just to see how, how it actually plays out and how well this actually works. Now the next bit of news for Black Ops 4 is actually the blackout mode. For those of you who aren't familiar, I've got a video talking about it. You can check the link in the description. But blackout is Call of Duty's Battle Royale. Now there are some leaks. This is not confirmed in any way. But the, it's a reliable source that where they've been accurate with some of the information we've got so far on Black Ops 4. And they're saying that we could be receiving 140 players in a single match of Blackout, Battle Royale, Black Ops 4, Call of Duty, Battle Royale, Blackout. Now 140, 140 players sounds just crazy. They're going to need a massive map to pan that out. But I think this is going to be absolutely mental. If Black Ops 4 pull it off correctly and they make a solid, robust and optimized Battle Royale game mode with everything they're promising with vehicles, the characters, the old weapons, the RCXDs, everything, they could actually pull this off pretty well. And I know some people are upset about the campaign being removed and I can understand that perspective. Because personally, and this is my own opinion, you guys might have your own opinions and that is perfectly okay. But in my personal opinion, I feel Black Ops has some of the best campaign there actually was. And I actually nearly got the Platinum Trophy for Black Ops 1. Um, so it's, it's a little bit upsetting that it's being removed. And I watched Angry Joe's video. It was, it was a funny run. I do... 
I do like Angry Joe, the YouTuber, quite a lot. And I understood his concerns about the campaign being removed because that's obviously one of the things as a reviewer, the Angry Joe show, he reviews games and the campaign was his go-to first and he doesn't really play Call of Duty as often like as any other game. Most of the Call of Duty players will keep keep going back like you play other games and in between you just want to play some Call of Duty sit down and kill some people online but from his perspective Angry Joe saying that the you're paying more for less they've removed the campaign just to add a battle royale which is probably easy for them to create and I do have to agree with him on that. We are paying more for less. And one of the main points that he brought up was, you know that Activision are going to cram this game with loot boxes, microtransactions, COD points, pay to wins. And it's going to be overwhelming. Once you've paid for the special edition, which we spoke about in the beginning, then you've got to pay for all the DLC. Then you've got to pay for the microtransactions. I can understand why that's so frustrating. Personally, I'm not going to pay for those things. When people have an advantage in a game just because they've paid money, that is so outrageous. Fortnite is a free-to-play game, and you don't pay to win. You pay only for cosmetics. And when they say, we're removing something and adding something you can pay for free, I completely and entirely understand that mindset. I really do. They should have at least added some sort of campaign and made something interesting with Black Ops 4. But also saying that, I don't, I, I would literally play a bit of the campaign at the beginning and I wouldn't really, sometimes I don't finish it, all the Black Ops I have finished the campaign but I just feel I don't play the campaign. I like to go on multiplayer. So it all comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. For the ba it's, it's cool that they are adding a battle royale mode. It feels like we're getting an additional thing for people who don't play the campaign. But for the people who do, I really do understand that frustration. I really do. Now another thing and another piece of news is the pick 10 system is returning to Black Ops 4. Now, for those of you who aren't aware or haven't played the old Black Ops games, when you create your loadouts, so this is for your weapon attachments, the weapons you're going to use, the grenades, the tacticals, the lethals, um, all your perks, you get an option of 10 items. So you could pick a gun, that would be one item an attachment for that gun, that'd be two items. And they're bringing back that system for the uh, gun customization for Black Ops 4. Now this is, this is interesting because they also mentioned, and I talked about this in my other Black Ops 4 video, um, they're adding the personal attachments. Each and every single gun will have their own individual and unique attachments. And with that system integrated with the pick 10, we're going to have to see just how well they merge together. I'm sure Treyarch have done a really good job at making sure the game is great when it comes to customization of the weapons and making it feel like your own personal loadout. Like this is yours. What you've created, you're quite unique in using that because there's only so many other um people who would have selected this exact layout but we are gonna have to wait and see <laughs> we need to count on that can someone count that in the comment section how many times i've said that because it is we are gonna have to wait and see we can't make a thorough review i'm just delivering you guys the news on it and we are gonna have to wait out and see how everything pans out and plays because Without actually getting our hands on and getting a full up, full understanding, we aren't, it's not right to make quick judgments on it. Now the last bit of news I have here for you guys is that there is now 5 versus 5 in multiplayer matches. Previously we've seen 6 versus 6 or 8 versus 8. We've even seen a larger amount of players in a match. but. We, <laughs> I don't want to say the words, but this this is interesting. I was I was a bit surprised that they actually did that. Perhaps it just works out with the game flow and 
uh, how everything pans out. Maybe with the specialists as well, with six people, it could get a bit too hectic. But we are going to... I'm not saying it. I'm not going to say it, guys. But I just thought I'd deliver you that information. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Are you guys excited for Black Ops 4? What's your favourite piece of news from this video? Get a discussion started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk and respond to all of you guys in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you learned something from it, make sure to smash a like. Maybe subscribe. There's going to be lots of Black Ops 4 content here. We have lots of Fortnite content and so much. So, guys, if you could show some appreciation, put those push notifications on. Make sure you're first to the video. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm personally super pumped about Black Ops 4. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream because that's coming back on the 20th. Yeah, boy. we got massive party for the stream party that is going to be on the 20th. But, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video or live stream like a somebody. Peace out, Team Twiz. Much love.